I just wanted to hop on here and show you uh, TiddlyWiki. Um, it's a HTML based uh, brain mapping or note taking or research helper. Um, you could it could be described as a nonlinear uh, note taking app. It's not really an app. It's just a like I said, an HTML file um, that's configured with JavaScript and um, an infinite number of plugins that you get to choose uh, to be a note taking app. So I've created an example wiki here that I'm going to open. So this is my example wiki that I have. Um, there's a few things to note here. This is a HTML page. So it can be customized, edited. Uh, you can really do anything with you that you want with this. I'm going to go to um, open. Actually, I'm going to go to recents, and I'm going to click on this note. So these these are the recent notes. I'm going to click on this note, and it's going to open up. So this is the note, what's called the river. Um, if I open up the next note, it'll push that one down, and that could go on forever, and you can scroll through the river. Um, if you have enough notes to do that. So a few things you'll note about the notes is um, for this note, if I go in here and edit this, so we have a, I'm going to exit out of this one, we have a title, so you get to put in your title, and this will be the unique identifier for this note. Um, you can put in tags, you can also create new tags, so if I were to say, you know, name or something, I could add that as a tag. Um, tags are handy because uh, when you click on a tag, when once you've tagged something, you can click on that tag um, and it'll pull up all the notes that are tagged with that uh, tag. And it's a very handy way to sort through massive databases, especially if you have a very um, robust set of tags. All right, so this is the body. Um, and this one just says, this is a lot like, and then I've put in double brackets another example. And what this does is, if I check this to save it, what this does is it creates a link to a another note. And if I click on this, it will open that other note. And of course, in this note, I've put um, a link back to that previous note. There are plugins that will create, um, one of my favorite plugins, it creates a bi-directional link. So instead of having to put this in this note, um, like this, if I were to link it in this note, if I were to link another example in this note, like I do here, it would actually create down here at the bottom, it would put this um, reference down here at the bottom. So any note that references another example like this, it creates a link to it, it would be a bi-directional link and it would add it to kind of a reference down here, sort of like a um, you know, this is, you know, everything that's referencing this note, which is super handy so that you don't have to go in and, you know, remember which notes you're linking to. You could just write out a note. And even if it has like 18 links in it, all of those 18 different notes will then have a link back to this note um, so that you can see, you know, like I said, which notes um, this note is referenced in. So as far as tags go, if you click on the tags, within a note, you'll see all the other notes that have those same tags. And this can also be handy when you're navigating through the more tab, you can see all your notes, which would be an expansive list, you can imagine, you can see the recent notes, you can see tags, and you can click on that, go to each uh, note, it's that tag, you can also see the draft, so unsaved notes, uh, missing, not sure what missing does, not I think orphans just is uh, any any note that does not have a link to it or from it. And there's types, systems. These there's all sorts of things you can do with these plugins. Um, you can see the themes that you have, the plugins that you have, languages. Now, if you want to get any of this, you go up here. So instead of creating a new note with this, which you know we'll pull up this template again. And also you can choose what content type you want. So if you only want markup language, you can switch it. If you only want plain text, you can switch to that. If you want TillyWiki uh, or TillyWiki Classic, um, you can even do images. So you can draw your own images within this. 
remember, this is all HTML um, based. So this can be loaded up in any browser. And in fact, it could be hosted so that you could view it um, on your mobile device and even add things to it. So let's get back to, I delete this. Let's get back to what I was talking about. If you want to edit any of this, especially if you want to add new plugins, you click on this, which brings up the control panel. And within here, you have um, all of your settings for like, let's say you want to create a new journal, which is a whole new section, um, or you wanted to, you know, you wanted to edit how the show up, or you wanted to edit the animation duration, which is awesome, or you wanted to switch the appearance. And here's all your different, you know, colors, how you want your stories to appear, uh, the themes that you have, and then you can go to settings. There's tons of settings in here that it's amazing. Um, saving auto saves um, and plugins. So this is the core TiddlyWiki 5 core that we have installed. And then our themes and languages. So you can actually go get more plugins and install them. Like I said, one of my favorite is the functional linking plugin, but there's another one that I really love, which I'll probably make another video about that, that map. It's a node map and it's independent of any of your note links. So it does not depend on what notes are linked to what other notes. It only depends on what you define in the notes. So you have nodes and you have connectors. I'll, I'll do another video about that um, and probably explain this bi-directional linking. But anyways, that's all for this video. Um, hope to see you in the next one.